what's up guys uh, anyway just wanted to make a quick video on uh, well, maybe it won't be quick a couple minutes just uh, the star banker app I'm just going over a few things but uh, music has been a huge part of my life since I can remember and uh, I've always liked singing it but I never put much effort into anything like really trying to express it out loud especially in front of other people so I'd always just like kind of mumble shit under my breath and whatever song was going but I just really enjoyed it but I didn't think I had the voice and I I might not still I mean I'm just still learning about it it's been about three months of using the star maker app and then I go back to my early stages of star maker my first recordings and I listen to what I put down before and it was really a uh, like I'll do a side by side comparison with this same song I started with and I put it down and I listen to it now <clears throat> when I do a current recording and it's a uh, it's quite a difference I tell you the key to that for me anyway was obviously confidence and then another one would be how well you know the lyrics and how confident you are with the sounds and the keys and the tones of each phrase and all that but uh yeah, I've just kind of like really quiet, mumble every phrase and word. But now it's like now that I'm getting more confident, especially when I know the song very well. Uh, you can just really start putting it out there a lot louder and a lot more expressively. And uh, it, that leaves room for improvision too. So, I mean, once you know that, you can actually add or remove or add your own little twist to it. And uh, just saying, it's uh, it's pretty interesting and... When you get support from people encouraging you and giving you compliments, it drives you to do better. And like, uh, for example, I don't know, I'm not gonna play a track from back then. I mean, you can look at my list and go all the way down and find the early ones. And go, Jesus, yeah, that's quite a difference after just like three months of actually expressively singing in front of people. Oh yeah, you, you can know it's a difference anyway. But I actually went to a karaoke bar. And first time I ever got up there and sang that Johnny Cash song, just simply because I was I was the most comfortable with that. Folsom Prison Bru Folsom Prison Blue is the live version, and I was surprised because I didn't think I had the balls to do that ever. That's a that's a that's just something I never used to do. So I mean, I got out there, belted it out, everyone's hooting and hollering. I wasn't really paying attention. I was just focused on getting the lyrics right and trying to get the tone right because. The guy who ran the machine or whatever, he didn't do his shit. I mean, he didn't have, he didn't, he didn't know, he didn't know how to run an audio, run the audio equipment. I'll just say that, but it was still all right. It was great. The crowd loved it, and I was like, whew, I got it done. Finished my drink, got the hell out of there. Anyway, I mean, that's something I'm going to be doing more in the future for sure now that I'm more confident. But just have confidence in yourself, and especially when you do get and when you get out there and you start saying phrases like. Uh, I just say bush swallowed i mean i was really comfortable with that like but when i first started i'd be like probably warm sun feed me up and i live uh, now it's like a lot more confidence like warm sun feed me up just a lot louder more clear just stuff like that that's how i started just uh, warm sun feed me up and uh, my girlfriend, Amber, actually brought that to my attention and said, you know what, you really got a voice. And I was like, maybe I do. I mean, she gave me the confidence to try, and I was right there in front of her when she said that. I would try, and <clears throat> got a little louder. And I found the artists that I was closest to in pitch, and like Seether, Audio Slave, um, Nirvana. You, just, you, gotta, you gotta do the stuff that you're most uncomfortable with also to get the right pitches, like something real high where you can't, what do I have, what do I have trouble with, trouble with, um, I don't know, like, like a really, want, really high pitch, like say, say, stay, I want you to stay, who, like hitting them highs, you got to figure out different ways to implement them words when you can't hit that certain pitch, it's, uh, just, just a couple of little pointers and tips from a total novice, I'm nowhere near, nowhere near anything, I mean, I'm just, just saying, just from my standpoint and the kind of differences I've seen in the last three months. It's pretty ridiculous. It's just, 
there's some key points that I touched on, but I know I got ADD, <clears throat> so it's hard for me to stick on topic. I should have wrote shit down, but, you know, I'm a lazy bastard too, but anyway, just my two cents. Hopefully you gathered something from that, and uh, if you're just, just starting, just trying to get in your confidence, but hope I help with something, because uh, music is a beautiful thing, man. It's the only thing that makes sense in this life to me, anyway. See you guys.